In this video, we're going to talk about how to write an equation of a line if we're given the slope and a point through which the line passes through. So in this problem, at that point is 4, negative 5, and the slope of the line is 3 over 2. So how can we write the equation given the point and the slope? Well, we could use the slope-intercept formula, y is equal to mx plus b. We have m, we have the value of x and the value of y at a certain point in a line. And with this information, we can plug those three things in and get b, the y-intercept. So let's replace y with negative 5. Let's plug in 3 over 2 for m, and let's replace x with 4. And then we can isolate b. So what is 3 over 2 times 4? How can we multiply an improper fraction by a whole number? Well, we could first multiply 3 times 4, which is 12, and then divide by 2, which will give us 6. So negative 5 is equal to 6 plus b. To get b by itself, we need to subtract both sides by 6. 6 and negative 6 will cancel, so we get b is equal to negative 5 minus 6, which is negative 11. Now, once you have the slope and the y-intercept, you can now write the equation of the line. All you got to do is plug in m and b into the slope-intercept formula, and you're going to get the linear equation in slope-intercept form. So the answer is y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 11. So that's the answer in slope-intercept form. Now sometimes you may be asked to write the equation in standard form. To write it in standard form, it needs to be like this. It's ax plus by equals c. In other words, you want to put x and y on one side of the equation and the constant on the other side. So let's convert this equation from slope-intercept form to standard form. The first thing I would do is get rid of the fraction by multiplying everything by 2. So we'll have 2y is equal to 2 times 3 over 2x minus 11 times 2. These will cancel. So we'll have 3x and then 11 times 2 is 22. Now I'm going to move the 3x to the other side. It's positive on the right side, but it will be negative on the left side. So we have this. Next, I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. So we'll have positive 3x minus 2y is equal to positive 22. So this is the equation of the line in standard form. Both of these answers are correct, but on a test, your answer might be in multiple choice format. So you may not always see this as the answer. It may be there, or your answer may be written in this form. So you need to know how to convert between slope intercept form and standard form. Now let's try another example. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work on this problem. It's very similar to the last problem, but it might be a little bit harder. Write the equation of a line that passes through the point negative 4 comma 3 and has a slope of negative 5 over 3. So let's start with this formula, y is equal to mx plus b. x is negative 4, y is 3, m is negative 5 over 3. So let's replace y with 3, m with negative 5 over 3, and x with negative 4. And let's calculate the value of b. Negative 5 times negative 4, that's positive 20. So we have 3 is equal to 20 over 3 plus b. Now, to solve for b, it's helpful if we can get rid of this fraction. I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 20 over 3, the 3's will cancel, giving us 20. And then we'll have plus 3b. 
Now we can subtract both sides by 20. 9 minus 20 is negative 11. We can bring the 3b down. So negative 11 is equal to 3b. Dividing both sides by 3, we get that the y-intercept b is a fraction. It's negative 11 over 3. So now that we have the value of b and we have the slope, we can now write the equation of the line in slope in step form. So it's y is equal to negative 5 over 3 times x plus, or rather minus, 11 over 3. So that's the answer in slope intercept form. Now we can also write the equation in standard form and also something called point slope form. So let's do both of that. First, let's convert this equation from slope intercept form to standard form. I'm going to multiply everything by 3. So here we have 3y is equal to, the 3's will cancel, giving us negative 5x, and here the 3's will cancel, giving us negative 11. Now I'm going to move negative 5x to the other side. So it's going to be positive 5x on the left, plus 3y is equal to negative 11. And I'm going to leave the answer like this. So that's the answer in standard form. Now how can we write the equation of the line in point slope form? How can we do that? The formula that we need is this equation. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So that is the equation of the line in point slope form. So all you need is a point and a slope, which we already have in this problem. We have the slope, negative 5 over 3, and we have a point. Now, when applying this formula, this becomes x1 and this is y1. So you don't want to replace y or x. Instead, you want to replace negative 4 and 3 with x1 and y1. So let's replace y1 with positive 3, m with negative 5 over 3, and x1 with negative 4. Now, we're not going to distribute the slope negative 5 over 3 to the x or to the 4. We're just going to leave it like this. y minus 3 is equal to negative 5 over 3 times, the only thing we need to change is this. A negative times a negative is a positive. So x minus negative 4 is equivalent to x plus 4. We want to leave the answer exactly like this if we want it in point slope form. Because in this form, you can easily identify the slope and the point that passes through the line. The point being negative 4, negative 3.